you love it? Yeah, I do. That's so cool. You can jump on here. And this is Kate, and this is YouTube, and this is YouTube, and this is Kate, and I'm Matthew, and we're going to do a haircut. Now you walked in off the street looking for a haircut. I said, how much you want to pay? And you said, how much is it? You said, how much is the haircut? I said, how much you want to pay? And then you said, under 50. And I said, well, I could do a haircut, but you could pay what you want. And they said, or oh, I could pay you for a haircut. And you said, I think I want to get paid for a haircut. And I said, because I have a YouTube channel, and uh, you could pay me 50 for a haircut, or I could pay you 50 for a haircut. So you decided you wanted to get paid for a haircut. Cool. And what, what haircut are we going to do? You looked at the channel, you looked at all the ideas, you're like, this looks like fun. Looks like yeah. Fun. So you went through all the photo ideas and you looked at two that you liked. So we're going to flip a coin. And the, that was one, like the retro kind of coiffy hair, because you've never had it. And the other one was the ultimate bowl cut challenge, which is that one. So there was that one, and there was that one. So either option's good, but you were leaning more towards that one. Yeah. But then you like that one too. So let the, 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 the coin toss decide. Now the coin toss is like mom. You know, mom decides your haircut. We call this is mom. This is mom's decision. Whatever mom says. So let's say heads will be the ultimate bowl cut challenge. Tails will be the coffee little lady's princess. So heads, tails, you ready? It says coffee 80s. Cool. Coffee 80s it is. And a wardrobe change is required for that look. Like something really preppy 80s, like yes. 1984. Like picture day, it's picture day at school tomorrow and mom says you have to cut your hair. So come on over, let's make it look like that. And we've decided since Kate doesn't like dresses and never wear dresses that absolutely we have to do a dress. But if it's 1984, it has to be like something like this because someone in 1984 who doesn't like dresses would just end up wearing dresses like that. Cool. So there's a time machine to that door. You go through there, you come out a different person, 1984. Enjoy your journey. Look at you. The shoes totally don't work with oh, it, but yeah. it doesn't matter because we're just going to be doing headshots anyway. But do you hate it? I do. Exactly. That's what we want. We don't want you to like it. We want you to be uncomfortable because that's called putting you outside your box. Jump on there. But at least you're wearing the right shoes. And would you like a purple one, a pink one, a stripy one? Contemporary or colors? A oh, purple one. Purple one. I think purple is the mood. So you are first year at Vic Law, so that means you've got years of school to go. That means you'll be a repeat on this channel, so you can come back for more haircuts over time. So people have like, something to look forward to. I have a few people that keep coming back on the channel. I think you're suited for that because you live in the area, you have school in the area, and you're on a budget, and you need haircuts. So it just ticks all those boxes. So it means over time your haircut will evolve. And there's a couple on the channel, and some of them went super short, grew it out, and went back to short again, and one shaved her head completely and grew it out. She's good to, she's good to a mullet phase now at the moment, but she Welcome shaved it off. Mullet. Yeah, yeah, so same thing, evolution over time. Come on over, let's wash your hair. Come on over. Over there, it's more common. So tomorrow's your birthday, you were saying. And today's yeah. your haircut for your birthday. Exactly. You're getting a birthday haircut. <gasps> yeah, it was a bit long. <laughs> I've got a lot of hair. Yeah, this, the, the fake salon mom said, it's your birthday, get a haircut. <laughs> but moms aren't like that anymore. The retro mom, the fake retro mom. No, my mom is, grow your hair out. Yeah, exactly. That's what modern moms are like. Like, why would you do that to your hair? Why do you keep doing that to your hair? Grow it, have nice hair. Back then they were more conservative. They take you to Kmart for a new outfit in the haircut back then. Yeah. Cool. See my ears for the first time in months? <laughs> yeah. Well, you see short hair, so this is all good.
and you don't know what area of law yet because your first year. I mean, I know kind of what I want to do, yeah. um, but I, do, I haven't, you don't get to pick electives to like no. your fourth, fourth year. No, I know. You kind of done the gauntlet at the first at the beginning. Yeah. I hope you get on exchange though. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. I've had a lot of big law in here over the years to make jokes. And a lot of big law get bobs at, at some point. It's just, a, it's like it. Yeah. Big law bobs are called. <laughs> yeah. The thing. And they're like, yeah, it's true. Like someone comes in and they, get, they go, what do you want to do? And they go, we're thinking about a bob. And they go, where do you go to school? And they go, Vic Law. I'm like, oh, another Vic Law bob. <laughs> they go, that's true, actually. A lot of us get bobs. I'm like, I don't know why. I think because they think it looks more professional or something or, you know. Yeah, I think it's like you want to do something apparent. with your hair. But, but you they don't can't. want to go too short. Yeah, because it's like you don't want to look unprofessional. Because bob is easier to get it back long again. It get, gets to ponytail length again and, you know, not too long. Yeah, we had the, the point. I had a bob for like two years. Did you? Yeah. So you, you did that. The, the as well. ponytails are so dumb though, because they just stick out the back of your hair. Yeah. You look like a chicken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a big love bob, but it permed it also. It made it look like Baby from Dirty Dancing. I love that. I know. And she had hair halfway down her back. So when she first came, um, she was a friend anyway. So she was like, never going to cut my hair. That was what she was like. But she wasn't in here for haircut. Her brother friend was getting a haircut. So I made the joke and I said, let's, let's cut it and perm it. And she went, oh my God, I love a perm. And I said, cool, but if I'm perming it, I'm cutting it. And she goes, fine. So I go, what happened to I'll never cut my hair? I'm like, I'll cut it to perm it. I love the perm. Yeah, I've been looking so at she it. did. Like she was never going to cut her hair and say, oh, if you're going to perm it, I'll cut it. And I said, I'm not cutting that. I'm not going to perm that leg, but I'm going to perm a bob on you. She went, fine. And like, baby, a dirty dancing fringe included. She went, fine. And she sat in the chair excited, and then it happened. I didn't put on the video though. I didn't make a video about that, that at that time. Um, we just did a photo shoot, that's all. That's cute though. Yeah. I don't think I was making videos at that time. I did the first video following our first coming out of our first pandemic lockdown. Oh, right. Because everybody was doing stupid mullets. And I was like, if everyone's doing mullets, then let's, what else can we do? And the other reason why was because New Zealand was the only country in the world where you could get haircuts without masks. Oh. At that time, you know that. so all other all other YouTube channels, they had to wear masks, but we didn't in New Zealand, and I didn't have a YouTube channel. So I thought, since this country we don't have to wear masks, and people are doing mullets, this needs to be a thing. Now I didn't think it was going to last this long because we're into twenty twenty. You know, this is years and years later. It was, a, it was something to do during a pandemic, right? Years later, I'm like, it's still happening, but you know why? Because it's positive. If it's positive and inspirational, I'll, I'll, I'll keep doing it, but. It was never really a life, life plan or anything, but it's been fun. And you're having fun. Look, you're on the channel wearing a dress and getting a short, coiffy hairdo. And if you like the coif, keep it for today. Go out with it and you'll be like, I did, I did this. <laughs> yeah, it's the best thing you can go back to your flat and like, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, this happened today. This happened today. Yeah. It's kind of almost like living with me anyway. Yeah, that's true. One of those people that just attracts like the chaos of the universe. I got hit by a bench the other day. You got hit by a bench? How did you get hit by a bench? I was sitting minding my own business and I got hit by a bench. Was it flying through the air? No, someone was wandering past with it. Oh, no idea where they were going. Right. Yeah. If there was moving day or something. Yeah, who knows? It was a big bench too. It looked yeah. like a pew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were moving it to their front porch so they could drink beer on it. Probably. It's solid too. Uh, the the, oh, uh, yeah. the density really got tested out on me. Oh yeah. You're like, I'm okay. Good thing it hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a spine. It's fine. I'll be fine. Just just a head wound. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't using those brain cells anyway. <laughs> yeah, I already spent the rest of them on my Loris essay anyway. Yeah. All of those childhood memories magically wiped away. Mid '80s is like my favorite era. Anyway, I'm a big That's George Michael fan. Oh yeah, love, love George Michael. Love George Michael. Now back then I didn't like him, but with over time, I love music now that I couldn't stand back then. Like I love Duran Duran now. Back then I was like, oh, anyhow. Uh. 
But when you're 13, you're, that's good for many years. You're just trying to fit in, so you're like, oh, I hate, I hate, all the girls like Duran Duran. I hate Duran Duran. All the girls like Duran Duran. I think if you were cool, you liked Ozzy Osbourne and Metallica. Oh, and right. I don't think I was ever an Ozzy Osbourne fan, but I was a conformist at that age. So I had Ozzy t-shirts. I did listen to them. But um, going back, I'm like, how was I a fan? <laughs> and then I think at 14, you start to develop your own taste. Mm. I think at around 14, that's like the best teenagers. I discovered like the Pesh Mode and OMD and all that stuff. And The Cure, the Cure became my uh, thing at 14. So like 12, 13, conformity. Yeah, and definitely. 14 is your identity comes out. That like age room, I'd go through my Spotify and like clean out a bunch of stuff. Cause it's like that when you first oh, trying yeah. to figure out what you want to listen to and then you just listen to what everyone else wants to listen to. And then I put my like songs on shuffle. I'm like, oh, what is this? Yeah. I've done that a couple times too. And sometimes you're drinking or others are drinking and they hit the love button and then it gets in there. And you're like, where did this get in there? Like, but you don't hate it, you just question. <laughs> you question your life choices when you uh, can't remember anything. So fun. <gasps> and French has to be shorter. We're gonna do the we're gonna do the coin toss in the French, so I'm gonna cut some and then we're gonna put we're gonna ask one to short it off. See what Mom says. Mom can be mean with this one. <laughs> we did that once with my friend. Mm. It ended up up there. Oh no! Because she kept losing the coin toss. <laughs> But mom, and it was like finally it was up there, and it and it said before coin toss says it was fine. I'm not saying I can do that with you. We'll just put the coin for fun, see what happens. See what happens. Yeah, maybe it turns out fine, but it's a fun thing to add for satirical purposes. Satire purposes. Mm -hmm. I will say this is probably the strangest haircut experience I've ever had, but yeah. I'm having fun, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Randomly walked in and off the street and next thing you know, you're wearing a dress. <laughs> Not what I had planned for my afternoon actually, no. funnily when, enough. And when was the last time you put a dress on? Mm, that's good Years, <laughs> probably like when you were 12. Like, like once years. last year. Yeah, you did once last year. I think I own one. You own one? Yeah. Just, just in case. Yeah, I'm actually quite proud of that. I got you in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> wear it Stick it on the Instagram. Katie's wearing a dress. Never know what to expect. No. Now I will remember, I think I was in year six. There was a girl in my class named Katie. And back then they just used to say tomboy. Mm. You know, the girl with the short haircut, and, um, but she once kissed me in the woods. <laughs> I got kissed by a tomboy once. I was confused. <laughs> I'm like, why would she do that? I was confused. And then we had to write a journal in class, <laughs> and only the teacher could read it. And oh. so she wrote in the journal about kissing me in the woods. So then my teacher knew, and she's like, in this, in this, I wrote in the journal about us kissing in the woods. I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> now the teacher knows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an episode of a TV show. <laughs> it happened once. But I used to sleep over at her house all the time. Like, we were friends. But I just didn't like her like that. But for her, that would have been her first kiss. Oh, right. Yeah. That's well. And probably to this day, she still remembers it. I remember it differently. <laughs> she remembered it as the first kiss, right? Like, it's a good memory for her. I remember, like, okay, first yeah. confused, second of all, writing in the journal. <laughs> a little more traumatic on your Yeah, well, it wasn't dramatic. It just was like... We're friends! It was kind of like kissing your, your sister, kissing your cousin kissing you. Like, I didn't see you like that. <laughs> we were like friends, we hung out. I think I was talking a lot. That guy talked a lot. <laughs> she stopped me and she kissed me. It was like a very Macaulay Culkin face. <laughs> I did the Macaulay Culkin face before that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Transitter. Yeah. Um, looking back, I'm glad we. I'm glad it happened, but we could never be a couple. <laughs> Funny story. She was my friend. I always wonder what happened to her too. One time on Facebook, I was like, I wonder if I could find her on Facebook. I couldn't find her. Wow. So it's, you're like, we'll try to stalk you. Can you just be in a more accessible place? Well, you know, because it's through friends of friends, right? You can mm. usually find it that way. But I, I, it never, it never. And I don't go too far in the rabbit hole. I'm like, 
you know, click on friends of friends and see if it's in there and if it's not in there, I'll give up. <laughs> Wasn't meant to be. Now for me, Facebook is the worst high school reunion ever. Uh, I don't have Facebook. It's all, uh, no, good. But it's, it's, I think it's, my, it's a my generation thing because we got into it, I think around 2006, it became a thing which is more than 10 years ago, which is eons in computer age, because usually computer things are good for about a year or two. So the fact that it's lasted more than 10 years says a lot about it. Yeah, I suppose it kind of owns everything now as well. Yeah, it's, it's too big. That's why it's, I find it more annoying than ever. It was novelty when it first came out. It replaced Friendster and MySpace. Oh, I love it. The, I've never had MySpace. MySpace was better. like a, pr a prolific thing. MySpace was better. Oh, so much better. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that my space is gone. You suit short hair. <laughs> okay. We have to ask them the big question. Where are the bangs going? Heads not short enough, tails short enough. Heads not short enough, tails short enough. Heads not short enough, long says not short enough. Mom's not happy. She wants to see more of your face. <laughs> not more of the forehead. <laughs> more of the forehead, yeah. Shorter's better anyway. <laughs> Mom always knows best. <laughs> Almost all my natural hair now. Yeah. Almost. Yeah, because that's, that's your that's your goal is you're trying to grow out your color anyway. We'll get there. You're gonna come back for another haircut. We'll do a major one to cut more of the color up for the next video. Gonna look uh, funky for exam season. Yeah, cool. And then the B comments. Buzz cut. <laughs> Ripper cut. Full cut. My flatmate is already trying to convince me to get a, a buzz cut with him. Oh yeah. Come in here. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll drag him down. Do it together. Put it on the video. We'll call that one. We're in a buzz cut. Mom now. Head shorter, tails short enough. Oh, mom says good enough. Mother always goes fast. Haircut, I would also describe like you grew up in Taupo, <laughs> small, which is a smaller town kind of place. Not small, it's even smaller than that, but it's a beautiful place. But I would say this haircut, like back in 1984, when you lived in a small place like that, this was the haircut the local hairdresser just gave everybody. <laughs> it's like you didn't even know, you sat down and this, it was like it was like longer, it was like a bob, or it was like longer, it was or it was short, it was this. Is the default haircut? And then you come out and I'm like, oh, that's. The, 
What's the haircut she gives everybody? They go to bridge club and you know, you know, bridge club or whatever. Everyone's got this haircut. The last haircut that I got made me look like a um, middle class divorcee. Oh, that's the best too. I love those sort of things. Was it, was, it wasn't by choice. I was like, what? I actually bumped into someone on the street. She was yeah. like 50, had the same same hair color and haircut as me. I was like, wow. Yeah, yeah. This and is then a, you're like, oh my god. This is a moment. Of but I love those. I love those retro haircuts. Like, well, we just we did one today anyway. I do love them. Blow dry. Which way do you go? This way? I go, I usually have a middle part, so... No, but we're not doing middle part. It's like an 84. You're going to go this way? That way. Might, might as well. Still got a bit of moisture. Even short hair, you have a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. Still takes a while to dry and short. Now, true story, my brother used to cut her hair. What? And Marie, yeah. Well. Yeah, and my, uh, my old former boss was her next door neighbor. So his kids grew up with Anne Marie being their next door neighbor. So they used to call, used to call her Auntie Anne. But they didn't know she was famous. And so when they were about, um, I'd say, they were probably 8 to 12, that, that range. And the CBC in Canada, which is Canadian Broadcast Corporation, did a documentary on her. So the kids watched her and they said to the dad, they went, hey, dad, Aunt Anne's famous. Because they saw the shots with her with John Lennon and with the president of the United States, all the, all the shots with her with all the different people. They're like, dad, Anne's famous. I'm like, where did you think Aunt, your Aunt Anne was? <laughs> Sam Murray. Now, when my brother used to cut her hair, he had a hair salon on, 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 around the corner from where she lived. Um, but she didn't want to go to the salon. She didn't want to. But she didn't like going out in public. Mm -hmm. So we had to go to her, go and cut it in her kitchen. She wouldn't. Uh, she's pretty recluse. Oh. So he wouldn't. She wouldn't go to a salon to get a haircut. He'd have to go to her uh, her house and do it in the kitchen. He no longer does hair. He's uh, he grew up, He's like I don't know. <laughs> oh no. He tapped out. Did Anne Marie's hair was enough for him? <laughs> Sorry? So he did end Murray's, Murray's hair, that was enough for him. Yeah, well, it, yeah, that was his, uh, everyone gets, a, gets something along the way, like you do hair long enough, you're going to get, can, you know, things like that are going to happen. I have, I have my few, and I'm just kind of like, meh, because I treat everyone equal, it doesn't matter who they are. So, and then that makes it better because they have, they have, they're comfortable coming for a haircut when I, you know, like meh, and then I'm asking questions about their life because I don't know. It's in every magazine I could read about them. I don't want to. I'm like, what are you up to this week? I got to go to Toronto. What are you going to Toronto for? Oh, I got to get my award. I'm like, well, that sounds kind of cool. Next minute, he's like getting a, an award for the Prime Minister of Canada. That's why he's getting a haircut. But at the time, I didn't know. The whole world knew. I didn't know. I treat people like that, regardless of who they are. That sounds cool. <laughs> And then, you know, later in the week, he, he, it's all over the news, he's getting his haircut. Or he's, he, you can see his haircut on the news and the Prime Minister giving him his award. 
That's good. And you're like, oh, I guess that's a big deal. <laughs> I didn't know. It was only like three days before that. That's why he was getting his haircut. His mom told him to get a haircut so he, before he gets his award. <laughs> and there was mom in the audience and dad in the audience and younger sister. And I had to do haircuts for the whole family. So they did the, everyone clapping in the shot of the family. I'm like, oh, I did all that, all those haircuts. <laughs> yeah, things like that happen. There's others too. I just think these stories are funny. Yeah, that's good. I didn't say who that was, but it's, um, it's just funny. Someone famous in Canada, but the, the rest of the world's like, eh. <gasps> that's fun. Is it finished? No, not done yet. Yet. No, we need to make it even worse. <laughs> you don't have enough anxiety in that chair. It's not, it's not a haircut until, you know, a 1984 haircut, unless the anxiety level goes up times 10, right? <laughs> so that's why we need one of these, to increase the anxiety level. It's like, when's this going to end? It's not. Yeah, getting a haircut back then was kind of like that. It's like, can you just please finish? I want to go. You're like, no, we got to use a curling iron now. <laughs> like, please, I don't want a curling iron. No, 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 you're getting a curling iron. <laughs> you can't leave without the curling iron. Did you color it yourself last time? No, um, so I had bleached here, yeah. and then this is just color on, yeah. on top of that. After yeah. I had blonde here yeah, for a while. Yeah, you can see it in there, yeah. But yeah, I thought I'd give my scalp a break from bleaching anyway. Yeah, exactly. Time for something different. Mm. It's funny, All most around. people don't go, uh, yeah, I'm my natural hair color for something different. <laughs> but for me it is, I haven't had my natural hair color in a yeah. long time. Yeah.
put up the stronger stuff too. Hello, how are you? Good to see you too. Come on in, we're doing a YouTube, but you've been on the channel before. I have, I have. You were sitting over there with that haircut out thing before. Okay. We and YouTube, YouTube, we and. Hi. And this is Katie. Hi. <laughs> and Katie's doing retro. Look at that fluffy hair. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, it looks like a real estate agent from 1984. Yeah. <laughs> Everything she touches turns to soul. <laughs> Oh, there was one that was Highway to Sell with some guys like Rissa Asia's tagline. Oh, yeah. That I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> and every time someone comes on, I just can't take them seri that seriously. Now, you do realize I want to send you with this hair. You don't have to, but I want to. Because you'll never do it again. And you're confident enough to pull it off, right? I don't know if I can live without the middle part. It's well, it's for today. You can shower later today, but you have to show it to somebody. Yeah, you have to suffer through that too. You, the whole room just smells like hairspray. And then we're going to lock it in. We don't want it to move. Not even a hair. I know, isn't that the best? Yeah. I really do look like I'd sell you a house. Yeah. I know. That's what I want. Yeah. I want you to sell me a house. It's great you up on the Oh, that's so funny. We just randomly walked in off the street about 45 minutes ago when this happened. Oh my god, I love it. You have to go home with it. You can shower later, but seriously, you have to go out in public with it. Because when would you ever again? Someone's going to call me mum. Yeah, exactly. And you can borrow the dress and bring it back tomorrow. I mean, if you did the whole thing, oh my god, I would love that. Oh my gosh, I think it's supposed to be in a study group. Oh, yeah, exactly. So I'm going to grab the camera, we'll do some after shots. Oh, just stand over here, we can yeah. see it better. And they can see what you're wearing better. So, uh, yeah, you can do the spin around as well. Um, actually, you know what? Sit in the chair a second. I'll spin it around so that I'll spin you in the chair so they can see the whole thing. Because um, you get a good shot of it all when you do that. Fun! Yeah, come over here and we'll do our little say bye to the tubers. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Have you touched it yet? I haven't. Touch it. Oh, it's so solid. I know. So you have to keep it for the day. It's like it's like bulletproof. That's like, wild. If someone, if you were a drive-by shooting, they'd be like, "Oh no, she didn't get injured because her hair deflected the bullet." This is like well, windy welling. Like yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. So anyway, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Katie walked in off randomly off the street, and this happened. And then I'm like, well, we can wash it out, but you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm sending you out in public. We're going to go with you. We're going outside. No, we have to. We have to. Bye, tubers. We're going out in public.
So that's with no part. Yeah. I actually like it like that. Do you like it like that or do you want to part it? Can I like mix my mood? You can, yeah, put your fingers in it, do what you want. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's going to fall into a kind of no part anyway. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I'll just give it a quick blast for a minute. You can use styling product or you don't have to. If your hair type is the type you could do either. I could put a bit of clay if you want. I've never used it. Yeah. I'll do a very little bit of play. Don't buy anything for now, but the sort of thing you live in the area, you can always pop in and help yourself. Because you're learning shorter hair, you're learning products. So for now, just pop in. Because uh, probably you're going to change the hair anyway. So if you buy one thing, and then it won't see with the next look. But the point of product is, when you have short hair like this, it always looks better the day after you wash it. Yeah. It so does. what styling product does is it makes it look like the day after you wash it. It just gives that little bit of grunt to it. Is that, um, I was going to ask, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of like this little bit here. Do you want to take like, it off? Yeah. The I think so. Okay. Do you want clipper sides and back, like shorter? Um, or you like that length? I think I, I, think I like the length. Okay, yeah. so we we'll just do a little, a little bit off that. So. I do like the look of this. I do like the look of that. But it's your call. Gone. Thank you, Maybe it's like a little bit shorter. Yeah. I like. Yeah. 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 Cool the layers I do. The color, yeah. yeah, and with the color that's currently in there, mm. it's like it was all meant to come together like that. Yeah, like it was fun. Purpose. Do you want to book your next month one now or just leave it be play by ear? I think I'll just play by play ear. Play by ear. What inspires you? Same with what you do. Mm -hmm. she, I get a text, you come, you yeah. get a haircut. <laughs> text, come. So it's based on what, is, what inspires you that day. Mm. Same when you walked in today. Inspired you to that today to do it. Next one, what inspires you, you come and see me. Amazing. We'll go from there. Enjoy. Enjoy Thank your you weekend. So Look gorgeous. This has been so much fun. Yeah. Ciao.